Hi everyone, I wanted to give you some explanation of all the assignments that are due for Module 1. And these assignments are due January 31st by 11.59 p.m. So the first assignment is a video introduction that you are going to post in your discussion board, just introducing yourself to your peers and also to me and to our instructional coach. I wanted you to use video everywhere. Um, it's a very easy tool. You can use it through Blackboard. If you have issues with video everywhere, you can always use um, YouTube or GarageBand or whatever kind of tool you use to create videos for your online classes. Um, so go ahead and include all of the information that I asked for in your video introduction and then just upload that and make sure that you um, reply to at least one of your classmates and introduce yourself to them. For assignment two, I'm asking that you create a poplet. Um, for this assignment, you are going to uh, explain your understanding of the key components of the Individuals with Disabilities Education Act, or IDEA, and also how IDEA has influenced family involvement in special education. So this is a rough drawing of what your poplets would look like. It's a concept map, so your concept is going to be in the middle, like this, IDEA. And then all along the outside, you're going to have the key components. There's six of them. And then you're going to have another poplet with key components addressing how IDEA um, has impacted family involvement in special education. So you don't need to use poplet. I know that poplet uh, is typically used through iPads. If you want, you can find another concept mapping application and use that. Uh, if you have any issues uploading your uh, poplet or your concept map to Dropbox, you can always take a screenshot and upload that to Dropbox. All we need to do is just see that you have the concepts and the mapping around the outside and that it's accurate, of course. Okay, for assignment three, I'm asking that you discuss the differences and similarities between developing a 504 plan um, and developing an IEP. So I'm suggesting that you use the iBrainstorm app, I Brainstorm app which is essentially placing sticky notes um, on a electronic screen and you can do your comparison through that approach. Um, I'm just trying to use different approaches to instructional methods so it's a little bit more interesting for you. If you have issues with the iBrainstorm, iBrainstorm app, you can use any kind of app that uses sticky notes or you can just do a regular comparison contrasting chart. Um, just make sure that you are addressing the differences and the similarities between developing a 504 plan and how that's different from developing an entire IEP. And you're going to upload that assignment to Dropbox. Um, for number four, for assignment four, you are going to be completing a family or parent involvement debate with yourself. So you are going to be reflecting both sides um, and have a friendly debate have a conversation with yourself as the parents um, who are either um, pro more family involvement wants to be involved or think that maybe the teacher should take the lead and, and the parents should not be quite as involved and reflect the perspectives from both of these sides. So what I want you to do is after you're done, you can do this debate via word or whichever um, approach you want to use. I want you to upload a screenshot of your debate to Dropbox. So we can grade that through Dropbox, but also you're going to post your debate to the blog and that is where you're going to respond to at least two of your peers and discuss their debates, um, what you support, what you don't support, how you can add to their debate, um, and just giving them some constructive criticism. And then lastly, assignment five, you are going to create a PowerPoint uh, reflecting three non-traditional family structures that you find in your text. So first, I want you to discuss the family structure, kind of give me a little bit of background of the families, and then I want you to talk about why you selected these families. And lastly, I want you to discuss what questions you still have or what you might wonder about this family structure that you uh, undoubtedly will, will encounter in your of professional life and that's going to be uploaded to Dropbox. So again this is five assignments they're all due by January 31st at 11:59, and I'm looking forward to seeing them. Have a great week.